Starting off our morning rush, a 14 year old is accused of slashing a woman's throat at an Albuquerque park. VCSO says the 23 year old woman met the teen on Snapchat. They then met up at Valle del Bosque Park on Sunset, where investigators say Giovanni Rios cut her throat, stole her purse, and took off with a friend. The woman survived. The man tied to a triple homicide will appear in federal court today. Police say that the last Wednesday, the uh, car pulled up next to Richard Kaikendal near San Pedro and Cutler. As he tried getting in, shots were reportedly fired. APD says they later found a pistol. Police say that Kaikendal drove to Caseman Hospital and told a security officer that three men were dead inside the car. He's now facing federal charges for being a felon with a gun. Erica. Here's a look at our drop off forecast for the kiddos this morning. Temps are in the low 50s, so it's a little bit cool. You'll want to put them in a rain jacket with some extra layers since it's only going to make it into the 60s this afternoon. So uh, make sure that they're warm for recess. Bernalillo County DA Raul Torres is now joining state auditor Brian Colon in the race for attorney general. That seat is now held by Hector Balderas, who is wrapping up his second and final term. Torres says that if elected, he will take on violent crime and will investigate and prosecute political corruption along with police misconduct. You won't need an ID to vote for mayor, and Albuquerque City Councilors want to change that. Albuquerque is now letting the county handle all of its municipal elections for mayor, city council, and bond questions. Under state law, there is no voter ID requirement. Albuquerque City Councilors are expected to take a vote to wipe the rule from the books next month. And here's a look at the Metro Threat Index. Uh, we do have a chance for some afternoon showers and light thunderstorms, um, so be prepared for that after 12 o'clock. Take a look at this. Police are searching for two people accused of trying to rip off drivers at UNM Hospital. Witnesses on scene told police that a man got underneath two cars at the west side parking structure, tried to cut off the exhaust and steal the catalytic converters. Police say a woman, later identified as Madison Holmes, served as a lookout. Right now, Holmes has a warrant out for her arrest. Neighbors near North Domingo Baca Park are now pushing for a pool that's been years in the making. Neighbors say that there's been no progress and the delay is forcing swimmers to travel to far parts of town or they have to pay for private facilities. Neighbors are planning to meet with officials to get the $17 million project done. The state says very few restaurants and bars have taken advantage of a temporary tax break. Lawmakers allowed a gross receipt tax deduction from March until July. This allows businesses to pocket that extra cash as a way to recover from the pandemic. However, the state says just over 550 food service businesses have actually filed for the tax break. The city of Albuquerque could soon be reinstating its plastic bag ban. Now, at the start of the pandemic, the city lifted the ban on the single-use plastic bags in stores because of concerns about germs on the reusable bags. The mayor's office told city councilors that they want to give stores and restaurants enough time to get ready for that ban to go back into place. It is now up to voters to decide if you'll soon be paying more at the gas pump in Albuquerque. City councilors said yes to send the proposal of adding a two cents per gallon gas tax to voters. If approved, the money is slated to go toward road improvements and to help bring the city in line with ADA requirements. The city's balloon landing task force is now looking to help pilots find more spots where they can land. One property being considered for purchase is a 91 acre plot on the southwest corner of Osuna near Amafka's north of Diversion Channel. That property could you also provide landing space for up to 275 balloons. Almost a dozen smaller properties are also being considered. Erica. All right, let's get a look at that morning drive. Um, here's a look at the maps, and it doesn't look like we have any crazy accidents or slowdowns as of now. And here's a look at Tracker, and the roads are still looking pretty clear. Monthly child tax credit payments will start hitting bank accounts as early as July 15th. The Biden administration made that announcement yesterday. Now, for the first time, the payments normally given as annually as tax refunds will be distributed monthly until the end of the year. Families can receive, el uh, up eligible families can receive up to $3,600 for children under six. Take a look at this. In northern France, a man is making soap out of snail mucus. The former computer technician started making the soap as a way to return to nature. He says in order to make 15 100 gram soap bars, 40 snails are needed. Snail slime is said to contain anti aging and skin healing properties. Welcome back. On this day in 1961, thunderstorms popped up and dropped quarter size hail that damaged cotton crops in Eddy and Lee counties. Around 1,000 acres of cotton were destroyed or damaged from that small hail. And time now for the five facts. And number five, after running on a limited schedule, the rail runner is now set to make a full return next week. The rail runner reopened for limited service just two months ago. Now, officials say that the full pre COVID schedule will be reinstated beginning Monday. Train capacity will still be limited to 25%, though. Masks will be required for all passengers in accordance with federal guidelines. On to number four now, the city's balloon landing task force is looking to help pilots find more spots to land. 
One property being considered for purchase is a 91-acre plot on the southwest corner of Osuna. The property could provide landing space for up to 275 balloons and would then double as a sport field complex. Almost a dozen smaller properties are being considered, while other plans include modifying large parking lots to create more space for landing. And at number three, temperatures aren't going to be climbing too much today. We're waking up in the low 50s for the morning commute. Temperatures only climbing into the low 60s by midday, all thanks to the cloud cover and incoming rain showers. On to number two now. Many businesses are not requiring customers to provide proof of vaccination when they head into their businesses without a mask. Big box stores like Walmart, Costco, and Sam's Club are following an honor system. Stores that were requiring masks, such as Target, are now lifting mask requirements after the CDC announcement. Also, some local facilities are updating their requirements as well. The New Mexico Restaurant Association says they're still getting legal clarification, but they agree with the honor system approach. And at number one, a 14 year old is accused of badly injuring a woman by slashing her throat. This took place at an Albuquerque park. BCSO says the 23 year old woman met the teen on Snapchat and they agreed to meet at Valle del Bosque Park on Sunset. Well, that's where investigators say that Giovanni Rios cut her throat multiple times with a razor blade, choked her, and stole her phone, her purse, and gun. And then she says that a friend of his showed up and then the two took off. The woman was rushed into surgery. Now, according to deputies, Rios told investigators his friend wanted him to kill the woman and rob her in order to pay off a debt.